breath and you're not allowed to blink for the next five minutes. I'm Jeff Barr, Amazon Web Services Evangelist, going to talk to you about how we've put 10 different web services on top of our infrastructure and how over our 200,000 developers have built really cool applications on top of what we've done. Okay, our web services are APIs plus business models built, broken down into four categories. Um, data as a service, Amazon catalog data, Alexa.com web search, people as a service, the Amazon Mechanical Turk, and then Amazon infrastructure like storage, queuing, and the Elastic Compute Cloud. Um, the concept here is we can start real small, you can scale up to the enterprise, priced really low to start and priced for people, not organizations. Very reliable, scalable, easy to use, easy to get started, highly available web services. One more time. I'm faster than the slides. Okay, e-commerce service. Access to our product data and our shopping cart. Millions of products and a very, very rich data schema. Um, get commissions for your sites via the Amazon Associates program. Four different little apps up there. I'll talk to you about those apps in just a second as soon as we get to our next slide. This is tvmojo.com. Um, virtual store, hundreds of thousands of different TVs, products, accessories. Uh, no warehouse, no inventory, simply a, a virtual site. A little money machine that just cranks in the money uh, as a domain out on the web. Next one. Okay. This is Music Plasma. This is really cool. It's a Flash application. It, uh, you search for artists. It shows you the artists and relationships in graphics and colors and lines. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can click, you get the discography there, and you can click through and it's another Amazon Associates application. Okay, this is um, the DVD Wars. You compare Blu-ray and HD DVD, open source intelligence. It gets a number of different factors out of the Amazon catalog to see how HD DVD and Blu-ray are doing versus each other. Um, very, very cool application. Next one. All right, Amazon S3, our simple storage service. Web service to read and write objects up to five gigabytes at a time. We charge you 15 cents a gigabyte per month to store your data, 20 cents a gigabyte to transfer it in or out. Tons of cool applications I'll show you in just one or two more seconds. <laughs> All right, here's, here's cool apps. S3 Explorer, Jungle Disk, S3 Firefox, a nifty Firefox extension, Backup Manager for Linux, S3 Edgex Wiki, a whole application built inside S3 with no application server at all. Other cool stuff. All right, SmugMug, professional photo storage. Um, they've got zillions and zillions of pictures in there. They switched over to S3 and said they're going to save $500,000 in storage costs the first year. They're selling off their old hard drives on eBay. Works really, really well. I've got 19,000 of my own pictures there. Webmail.us, uh, webmail for 27,000 businesses. Switched to S3 for backup, saving 75% over their old backup model. Also works very, very well. And the next slide. I can't believe I have all this empty time. Okay, Elastic Compute Cloud. Uh, Linux servers, there's all your specs right there. Scale up and scale down in minutes when you need lots and lots of servers. Crank it up and you've got tens, hundreds of servers as you need them. You're all finished. Turn the knob back down. You're not paying anything. Ten cents per clock hour as you use the servers. Uh, ways you can use EC2. Timer traffic based scaling. Load testing. Crank in a whole bunch of servers at once. Simulation, analysis, scientific, research. Um, run software as a service. Charge people by the hour for use of your of your software. All right, PowerSet, search engine company taking on Google. They don't own any servers at all. They're simply using EC2 infrastructure. They invest their venture capital in, in brains and in people, not in, in computing horsepower. Next one. Five seconds is a long time. Okay, Render Rocket, 3D virtual rendering. What you do, you go here, you reserve time, you upload your 3D movies, they render them on a render farm that's partially supported by EC2, pay by the hour. Um, at least one holiday movie this season we know was rendered through Render Rocket on EC2. All right, Mechanical Turk, API to human processing power. The computer actually calls people to get work done, get this internet scale workforce paid by the item that they work on, game-changing economics for building applications. And our flowchart comes up next. 
It's a really cool flowchart, and here it comes any second. All right, Company, companies put the work into the system along with payment information. People go to mturk.com and they find them. The, the workers go in, they do the work, the requesting company gets the work back, they look at it, they decide it's okay, they People, the workers go away happy because they got their money. The questers got the work done. It's really cool. All right, castingwords.com. They do podcast transcriptions built with Mechanical Turk in just 24 days. Upload your podcasts. You select the episodes you'd like to transcribe. Farm it out to MechTurk. You get your transcripts back inside of 24 hours. And the next one. And the next one is right here. These are some cool ideas we've thought of for using Mechanical Turk. We'd love to hear suggestions, but not right now, about ideas for other things that you would <laughs> like to use it for. Adding keywords, images, subtitling, writing reviews, uh, recognizing faces, proofreading, <laughs> chess, move, chess moves. All right, and there we go. Register at awsamazon.com. There's our blog, Resource Center. We're hiring over there. Um, email me, Google for me. There you go.